Automated car is taking over the express lanes of the Selman Expressway this week, and you can have a chance to ride in it. More on that in just a moment. First, the car, it operates at four levels of autonomy, which means it can perform the most basic functions of a driver. And today, our own Fox 13's Jennifer Holton got to take a test ride. And we're off. This is the future of driving. No one using the wheel, just sensors guiding the way. I got to test ride this self-driving vehicle and learn how it works on the road. Frank Menchaca with the Society of Automotive Engineers explains how close this car operates to having a human behind the wheel. This is a car that operates uh, at probably four levels of autonomy uh, as defined by SAE. So uh, it can basically uh, perform all of the functions or most of the functions of a driver. This automated car is equipped with LiDAR sensors. That is light sensing technology that can detect things like obstacles or pedestrians, but it's not perfect. There are certain things that sensors don't detect because of color uh, that might be uh, obfuscated to them. Watch what happens when the vehicle senses a car stopped ahead. Sensors mounted around the perimeter check for blind spots and space in the next lane over. Once we've decided it's safe, he just goes right around. Absolutely. Okay. The car safely switches lanes and continues on. Menchaca says overcoming obstacles like these proves there's tremendous potential. Just think about it. Uh, the idea that a person who has limited mobility, uh, who is uh, visually impaired, or who simply doesn't want to drive anymore, um, now has the ability and uh, the, the independence to be picked up, uh, to be driven somewhere. The test drives will continue on the Lee Selman Expressway for the next several days. Reporting in Tampa, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. Now, in order to get a ride, you've got to send an email requesting one. We've put all that information on fox13news.com. Just look under Scene on TV.